In the last video we were talking about the sequence B sub N and if you haven't watched that video then I would recommend that you watch the previous video that, that wherein I showed you an, a sequence which does converge and I also talked about this sequence and these notes are from the previous video. Well, we talked about how th this sequence does not converge because every time you have an even value for, for n, you will have positive 1 as your output. Anytime your n is odd, you will have a negative 1. And we see this pattern, we see this uh, oscillation pattern. So, so clearly this does not settle anywhere, therefore the limit does not exist. And the limit not existing is another way of saying it does not converge. Now, in this video, I wanted to prove to you that, that b sub n does not converge. So, so we we know by the definition of a limit that so before I prove it to you before I prove b sub n equals negative one to the n it does not converge let's recall our definition so our definition was that for all for all epsilons greater than zero there exists an n such that such that the limit minus the sequence will be less than our epsilon for all for all little n exceeding big n this is the epsilon definition of a limit so if i wanted to prove so so exercise so if i wanted to prove b sub n which is equal to negative 1 to the n is not is not, uh, or let me put it this way, does not, does not converge, does not converge. So the trick here is this, you want to make this, so in order to show non-convergence, you want to have some value of the limit minus a n, and you want to go some steps down, and you want to have this, this expression, so let me use a brighter color actually, because I noticed that red is not, uh, it does not really work on, on YouTube, so let me use pink, because it's really bright. So, the trick is that you want to have this distance between your limit and your sequence. So, L minus A N, and then you do a bunch of uh, computational work, and then you are supposed to get something like this, that this, this thing is greater than, is greater than your epsilon. So, if you can show this, clearly this does not match the definition of convergence for limit. Therefore, that would be our proof that, that this does not converge. So, to see that, that it doesn't converge to, uh, to 1, because some students think, so the, the illusion is that Bn, or, well, negative 1 to the n, converges to 1. That's, that's what people think happens. To see that it doesn't converge to to one, this is my proof. This is my proof. Let so just choose choose an epsilon which is less than this value. So choose epsilon is equal to let's say zero point five. Then any n obeys. Then any n should obey this. Then. The following has to be true. True. So I said people think that it converges to one. So let's put that in for our limit. So one minus our our sequence, and then so for for this we will see that well if we substitute we know that the two possibilities for this for this sequence are either 1 or negative 1. For this, let's we could write by cases, but let's just do it in a more linear fashion. Let me just use 1 for this. So 1 minus 1 is, is equal to 0, which is less than epsilon, which is good. 
Okay, which is good. However, the n is so the, the definition says for all n. For all n. You can't just have some of the n's working, you need this to work as well. So let's choose an odd n now. So okay, so this is good. Let me if okay. So so let me let me take this comma out and let's write this 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 is good. This is good. Now and recall why is this good because we chose our epsilon to be 0 0.5 and this so 0 is certainly uh, less than 0 0.5 at least in the real number system so this is good now l let n be odd let n be odd then then so this would imply that our limit minus our sequence it should be less than epsilon. So let's um, simplify this. So since since n is odd, we will have negative one now. So one minus negative one, and then we know that a negative a negative it becomes a positive. So one plus one is two, and the absolute value of two is just two. And this has to be this should be less than less than epsilon. So two. So I, I'm just gonna put a question mark. Is this less than epsilon? At the starting of our proof, we chose our epsilon to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So, is 2 less than 0 0.5? Is this true? Is this true? No, it isn't. So, the odd a section of this of this sequence fails our definition. So, so we instead of having so let me let me let me write it this way. So two is greater than so it's greater than epsilon. This is not the definition of a limit. If you if you note up here the definition of this is the definition of a limit. Okay? And if something so if any of these inequalities is not matching this, then, well, that's failing the definition of that specific limit. So no matter how big you choose your n to be, I can take any n. I will be able to choose any little n to be any odd number, which will be greater than, um, you know, your big n. But it will violate this specific, this specific portion. Okay, so hopefully you understand how that works. And to conclude our proof, to conclude our proof, let me write Q-E-D. I really hope this video was helpful.